to show you guys how to uh, upload your stuff to the history classroom. First, go to your email. Email yourself your pictures. Now, open your pictures. And then you're going to download them to your device. Now, this is important. Pay attention to where it is. On this, mine's going to go into this PC document student work. So there we go. Save. Now I'm going to go to my other shield picture. Yes, Doc, you're a good girl. And on my other shield picture, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to download to the same location. There we go. That's the first step. Now I can close my email. Second step is that I'm going to go to my assignment called Greek Shields, but first I'm going to make sure I'm on classwork. Okay, now I'm going to click on Greek Shields. All right, now this is where I was supposed to write my report. Um, you'll notice that um, right here I have uh, my assignment that I could have typed into. If I didn't type into it, which you can see I haven't, there's two things I can do if I've typed it up in a different document. The first thing, and probably the easiest, is I can go here uh, and say View Assignment. And right here, I can add or create. So I've already typed mine up separately. So since I've typed mine up separately, I'm not going to leave this one here because I didn't type it. I'm going to make it go away. Now you'll notice I have no assignment. So now I'm going to say Add or Create. And that will take me right to my Google Drive. Now there, when I get to my Google Drive, I'm going to choose that assignment I made. Uh, here we go. I'm going to pretend like this is it. And I'm going to say Add. Now, when Mr. Burns goes to the Greek Shields assignment, he'll see your written piece. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to add my photos. So I'm going to open up my document. There it is. And I'm going to scroll down to where I'm going to put my photos. So I'm scrolling down to here. And I'm going to say Insert Image Upload from Computer or phone, or Chromebook. There we go. Now I'm going to have to remember, wait a minute, where was that? Oh, that's right. It was in student work. I'm going to pick the front of mine first. Here we go. Now, it's right side up, which is good. But if it wasn't, watch this. I click on it. And if I right click, I have some options. Uh, so, um, I can crop, which I'm going to use in just a minute. The other thing I can do is go up here to Image and Image Options. And here I can rotate it if I need to, if it's upside down, for instance. Now, mine isn't upside down. I just need to crop out my pants and stuff. So here we go. I'm going to choose Crop Image. That's important. See how there's blue and there's black? You want to only grab the little black ones because those will crop. If you grab the blue ones, they'll make it a wrong size. So there we go. I'm cropping my image. Nice. All right. And we just want to see your shield, not your dirty green pants. Now, when you're done and you've cropped it, click on it outside of the image. There we go. Now, that's pretty small for Mr. Burns' old my eyes, so I'm going to click here, and I'm going to gra grab a blue corner, nowhere else, because if I grab here, it'll make it look weird. I'm going to grab a blue corner. I'll show you. Watch how it makes it look weird. Right? That's no good. So I say, whoops. All right. So grab your blue corner and drag it page width. That'll make me pretty happy. Now, of course, I need to add my next one. So. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, click and hit enter. 
I'm going to make sure my cursor is down below. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to even make one more space. Now I'm going to say insert image upload from computer. This time it's going to go back to the folder where I was and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to say, oh wait, that's the one I already did. I'm going to click on the back and I'm going to say open. Now, um, I kind of think this one's upside down. It's no good. I'm going to have to fix it. So I'm going to click on it and I've already done format image and set image options. So there's my image options, size and rotate. So I click on size and rotate and I'm going to rotate it until I get it the way I want it. And this is how I want it with the beginning at the top. So now I'm doing good. I'm going to click out of it just like this. Uh, and I'm going to right click and say crop my image because now I even have my feet in it. So there we go. Crop. Crop. Crop, click out of the picture, crop becomes there. Um, by the way, if you needed to, you can uncrop, um, or you could just say back arrow and it would put it back to the way it was if you mess up your crop. And now I'm going to go big. And that is how you get this into your incredible writing piece of your report. And that's how you put it into the uh, assignment. Now, of course, I'm all ready. I'm done with it. It's beautiful. I'm happy. And I can turn and choose turn in. Uh, it says, hey, sure you want to turn your work? I'm going to turn in. Now that I've turned in, I can't actually change anything. If I decide I want to change anything, I would go up here and click unsubmit. And that would let me change things if I suddenly realized, wow, I spelled something wrong. And that's how you add it to the classroom.